Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're looking at Verge 3D. Verge 3D 4.0 is now here and this is quite impressive. Verge 3D is made available by the folks at Soft Itsoft and it's a beautiful tool that allows you to create 3D components in your DCC app and you can export that to the web. Now we've covered how this works with Blender and of course this is not only restricted to Blender, there is also Verge 3D for Maya and also for 3D Studio Max. But today we are seeing that Verge 3D for Blender is now here and it makes a lot of sense. Now, for those who haven't seen this, you can simply take a look at the link in the description where I would link the previous video where we discussed about how you can work with Verge 3D directly in Blender, how you can create your own models and also set them up for web interactivity. So it's just an amazing idea to see that a tool like this still exists and the toolkit has actually evolved to something that is way more creative and also offers a better 3D interactive web experience for artists and also web visitors. So the version 4 now comes with a huge set of features. Now the very first one which you're looking at is the themes. So they've actually updated the themes. So at this point, you can switch from light to dark mode. There is also a brand new asset store. So before there wasn't really an asset store, but right now there is a brand new asset store that comes with demos and also material libraries for those who like to explore and also get inspired by that. Texture compression is also available and this enables images to use 4 to 6 times less video memory. The Snowball VR has been revisited and this is one feature that was available in the previous version. So at this point if you're thinking about exploring the VR demo which is the Snowball VR it is now available and compatible with Oculus Quest 1 and 2 and this makes a lot of sense owing to the fact that there is a desktop version, a mobile version and now a VR version that is very very useful. And for those who are also excited about exploring some of the cool materials and also cool features that is available right now there is also a brand new demo called the clone object and this actually shows how the cloner tools that is now available in Verge 3D actually works. And if you're thinking about coding, there is also a couple of coding tools that is available. And this includes working with JavaScript if that is what you want. And right now, they've simply upgraded the puzzle editor by syncing with the latest version of Google Blockly framework, which now works way faster for bigger scenes and it is far more stable. And of course, there's a huge set of updates that is now available that includes the GLTF format that has been refactored. There is the puzzles which you just talked about and so many other cool and nice features for Blender and also for those trying to create nice and amazing stuff. So this is more like it. For those who like to take a look at this, probably you would like to check it out, you want to test it, you can simply go over to the link in the description that will bring you right here where you can see all of the nice things that is currently available for Verge 3D. It's also worth mentioning that Verge 3D can be used in several instances. So you can see right here that Verge 3D is available for architecture, e-commerce, learning, games, medical, and also product presentation. So it covers a lot of things and it can help you do a lot of things directly on the web. Verge 3D is now here and you might want to consider looking at this if you're into creating web content and you like to create that configurator that would allow your web visitors to actually interact with your 3D models on the go. Tell me what you guys think about this one and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can simply go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.